if you are pursuing or completed bachelor's of mechanical engineering and looking for further studies option in the uk then this video is for you hello everyone my name is sham anavat and i welcome all of you to this video in today's video we are going to discuss about top 10 specializations which you should be aware about if you are looking for further studies options we will see what is the objective of this specific course also the subjects which you are going to study during this master's degree and career outcome that means what are the career opportunities you can expect after completion of this master's degree these specializations will not only enhance your skills but will also make your job ready in this competitive world so let us learn about these 10 specializations or i should say the field of studies the first specialization in our list is automotive engineering so let's see what is this course all about the aim of this course is extend current knowledge towards their applications with aspect of automotive science and the design of modern land vehicle sub system develop social awareness and responsibility of engineers in the society provide the opportunity to develop research competence through an advanced directed research project now every university in most of the university or good universities in abroad they focus a lot on the research project provide the opportunity to apply high level analytical software towards the design and packaging of complex assemblies I'm sure by now you must be clear about where this course is heading to now let's see what are the subjects which you are going to study in this course these are the subjects which you are going to study during this master's degree so it is advanced automotive chassis system you have advanced static analysis you have advanced dynamic analysis you have professional development and research methods this is the research method program which they have spoken about during the objective of this course individual project based on the research methods quality system and measurements modern vehicle system project and finance management so they are going to teach you a little bit of man management component also now let's talk about the career outcome what are the kind of designation or job you can expect after completion of this master's degree so you have program quality engineer mechanical design engineer research engineer and vehicle durability engineer so these are some these are a few of designations or job you can expect after completion of this course the next field of study which i would like to talk about is mechatronics engineering mechatronics is combination of mechanical and electronics you can expect automation robotics and iot in this course so let's understand what is the aim of this course so what you will get to learn during this course so you can see they emphasize to develop you for area of robotics machine learning iot and industry 4.0 now let's see the course or the subjects which you are going to study in this program so here you have the list of subjects which you are going to study so you have robotics engineering modeling simulation and visualization industrial engineering machine learning systems and project management engineering research project dissertation engineering leadership and enterprise system engineering emerging technology and sustainability so this course is also focusing on machine learning you can see so you have a component of machine learning in this particular program machine learning requires a good understanding of python programming language during your bachelor's of mechanical engineering i'm sure you you might have not uh, used python programming language for your subjects so if you want to excel in mechatronics and this particular course then you should have some knowledge about programming language that specific especially python apart from that you should also know some advanced mathematics topics in this modern era if you get to learn machine learning as part of mechatronics engineering then this will be added advantage if you want to go ahead with mechatronics then please start learning python programming language start building up some basic knowledge and see how you can utilize this in machine learning in this particular course apart from python language you should also know advanced mathematics topics such as probability linear algebra and statistics the next specialization in our list is aerospace engineering so let's see what are you going to learn in this program what is the objective of this program so here it says you will apply techniques such as advanced computer based design computational fluid dynamics and finite elements analysis apart from these the course also offer some electives so you can choose those electives and then have your specializations into that so let's see what are the subjects you are going to study during this course 
as compulsory subjects you have engineering research techniques you have computer fluid dynamics for aerospace application you have aerospace stress analysis and advanced materials you have engineering individual projects and the optionals that means the electives you can choose one of these so you have engineering projects and risk management you have green engineering and engineering efficiency and then cad cam system these are the optional subjects you have that means one of these you can select after completion of this course you can expect a job in aerospace engineering industry or any organization in green engineering the fourth option in our list is advanced mechanical engineering as the name says advanced mechanical engineering so you will learn the application of mechanical engineering at the high level in this particular course let's see what is the course objective here it says this engineering master's program enable you to meet the challenges of rapidly changing global market with a focus of advanced thermal power systems process and manufacturing let's learn about the subjects which you are going to study in this program as core modules as core subjects compulsory subjects you have advanced structural mechanics you have advanced computational fluid dynamics you have manufacturing technology and management you have gas turbine engineering and as elective module so you can choose one of these depending on your interest you have advanced heat transfer you have vehicle propulsion you have robotics now the career option after completion of this course depends on which elective are you choosing during this program the next field of study in the list is engineering business management this field of study is quite famous among the student who would like to work at managerial level in the engineering firm so here you see it says progressive technology led companies are looking for people with both practical engineering skills and management skills to drive productivity and profitability in any company you will see a management division so definitely in engineering companies also a technology led companies also there must be management division in that management division they need students they need candidate who understand the management aspects also and they understand the engineering part also so that is what make this field of study different from other field let us learn what are the subjects you are going to study during this course so you have compulsory modules which are strategy and finance engineering organization big data analytics for industry managing design and manufacturing technology quality reliability and maintenance logistic operation management project planning management and control study professional and analytical skills apart from that it also offer this degree also offer you electives so you can choose one of these subject as electives here so you have leadership leadership excellence management of change organization people and performance after completion of this course you can expect a job in a technology led company as manager as entry level manager i would say next in our list is mechanical engineering design with management this course as the title says will teach you about mechanical engineering design and will also have some management aspect to control or manage the project which is given to you so this is what they say is the aim of this program mechanical engineering design incorporate design complex system in order to develop and evaluate the design performance using technical engineering knowledge and skills with the aim of continuously improve the product and manufacturing techniques let's see what are the subjects you are going to study here in the first semester uh, they offer engineering fluid mechanics computer aided design this, as it is the degree of mechanical engineering design so you will have a heavy component of cad which is computer aided design you have nuclear technology project management as i said it's design as well as management so there will be some subject which will study uh, that will help you to manage the project which is given to you advanced modern management technical writing for engineers you also have some optional modules that means the electives in semester 1 that is finite element analysis additive manufacturing advanced engineering material formulation engineering in the semester 2 you have advanced manufacturing with laser energy and environment enterprise study structural integrity group engineering design and then you have a final project so you will also have to apply whatever you have studied in theory you need to apply that into the project the career options you can expect after completion of this degree 
It says this program includes a strong practical element and incorporates the latest academic and industry research, enable you to work efficiently at the forefront of the engineering. Well, in a nutshell, you will get a job in the industry for mechanical designs and project management. And here there are some options which are given on the university website, the kind of companies which are recruiting after completion of this degree. The next field of study in our list is sustainable energy engineering. Nowadays, if you see, most of the countries are looking for developing energy through renewable resources. So this field could be quite lucrative options for you. What are the subjects are you going to study during this program? You have sustainable energy futures, you have advanced engineering research project organization and design, you have individual postgraduate project. So you can see here, you, the first subject is 20 credits, second is 10 credits, third is 60 credits. The master's degree in the UK is total of 180 credits out of which they have given only 90 credits to the compulsory subject. That means the optional subject, you have quite a lot of options to choose from the optional subjects, optional modules and complete your master's degree. The optional subject or electives you have, they are advanced technology review, dynamics and wind engineering, engineering sustainability, renewable energy from waste, principles of renewable and energy efficient system energy storage, re renewable energy technology design and appraisal, technologies of hydrogen transport economy and thermofluid. This subject also quite futuristic. I mean, definitely there will be uh, a good future if you study this subject. Hydrogen transport economy. Job prospect after completion of this degree. You can expect a job in any renewable energy sector company or organization as an engineer. The next option in our list is automotive engineering with electric vehicle. I'm sure most of you must be waiting for this. The world these days is moving towards electric vehicle option, be it a passenger vehicle or commercial vehicle. Let's see the course structure. Modules cover specialist automotive subject, including advanced powertrain engineering and electric vehicle. You will learn, analyze and fully diagnose component and assemblies. Discover the management techniques crucial for engineering and design. Test and model vehicle in crash scenario. Subjects you will study during this degree. You have compulsory modules which are noise, vibration and harshness, advanced power and engineering, engineering business management. So you have some business management component also of 20 credit in this particular course. You have advanced vehicle dynamics, electric vehicles, crash impact modeling. Apart from this, you also have to complete a dissertation of 60 credits. Course outcome. After completion of this degree, you will get to work in any automobile company which is working in electric vehicle option. The next two options I have for the students who are looking to change their field from mechanical engineering to other field. Now, one of them is going for computer science program. So here I have a, an example for you. Uh, MSc in computer science conversion. Conversion means Students from non-computer science background can also apply for this course. The objective of this course to make you capable to understand the basic of software engineering and the role of computer science in software development. The subjects which you are going to study here is Introduction to Computer Science, Programming in C, Overview of Computer Architecture, Overview of Software Tools, Object Oriented Programming with Java, Software Engineering and Group Project and MSc Project for Computer Science. So, as I said, in case if you want to change your field from Mechanical Engineering to Computer Science or if you have already done that and want to gain one Master's Degree in Computer Science, then Conversion Program is the thing you should be looking for. The program outcome is you can expect a job in any Software Engineering, any IT industry as Software Engineer. The tenth option in the list is Management Field business management in case you want to switch from engineering background to non-engineering background a non-technical field of studies then management is the best option for you under the management you have got various specializations the top five specializations are marketing sales human resource management operations and supply chain and it out of this the mechanical engineer background students usually go for supply chain management or logistic that is their favorite that, that's the trend which i have seen so this is it in today's video i hope you like the information 
this information is only for the education purpose so that you can make an informed decision about your career if you still have confusion or if you still want to talk to me about your career options or any if you want a career counseling then i do free career counseling for the students you can connect with me on the number shown below on whatsapp if you like my work then hit on the like button and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video till then stay happy stay healthy bye bye Oh, oh, oh.